this is Ron Brown for your Being Truly Well Minutes for today. Today I want to talk about something that truly brings home what we've been speaking about all these weeks that we've been doing these videos, um, and that's to embrace. And I'm going to quote a guy named George Eastman. He's the founder of Kodak. And although their corporation is not doing well lately, um, he was a visionary for his time. And he has a quote that I think you can take in more than one way, and you'll see what I mean when I read it to you here. He said, light makes photography. Embrace light. Admire it. Love it. But above all, know light. Know it for all you are worth, and you will know the key to photography. That is a man who truly had a passion to share what he loved in life. But I love that he said light. Because you are love and light. And you probably hear people say that all the time. Sometimes I end my comments to people by being truly well, namaste. But sometimes I say love and light. And the reason why is that each one of us has the capability and the desire to be loved, to be embraced. And if we seek light in our lives, light is insight. It's opening our eyes to something that maybe we never saw before. But the, the key is to being open to it. If you are ready to receive, you can then receive from the universe You know what is available to you. When you hug someone, someone that you care about and love, you grab them with your arms and you pull them close to you and you just feel that wonderful sensation. Psychologists talk to us about that and they say that the hug releases natural endorphins in our body and, and actually helps us to remain healthy by being touched and loved by another and to be embraced. So what are you not embracing in your life? What have you pushed to the back? and maybe kept away from your full embrace? Is it your embryonic truth, your mission in life? Is it your passion that you haven't found yet? I want you to embrace light. You know, George Eastman said it. <laughs> light makes photography. Embrace light. Embrace light. Admire it. Love it. But above all, no light. Know it for all you are worth. That's a man full of passion talking about light. Your light needs to be available and open to receive. You know, I'm, I'm friends with a guy named Davey Wavy, and um, he's a very passionate person who uh, has this daily vlog that he posts and, and, um, and also a regular blog, and he even does a live interaction show. And he is a, a very proud, open-out gay man who is full of deep passion for helping others to not commit suicide, to be very healthy. Um, and one of the things he said on one of his chats, and I listened to it, it was two weeks ago. He said, he talked about this one person who, when he got hugged by them, rather than holding their breath like we tend to do when we hug, they breathe in the essence of the person and truly embrace the hug. And, you know, I thought about that. And I was like, yeah, you know, I used to do that. When I would hug someone, I was so glad to see them. I would smell, you know, embrace them, their essence. Not in a creepy way, but in a way that truly welcomes them and engages them in, in a fullness, a joy. Because I was glad to see them and truly my best friend, Michelle, when I see her, I always hug her and I, I give a big a sniff and a hug and I just pull her close to me, not to the point of breaking ribs, but just because I'm so glad to see her because she brings love and light to my path because of her sense of centeredness and purity that is always in her. And I get energized from it. So what energizes you? What are you embracing in your life? that maybe you haven't lately, or you've pushed off to the side. You know, they say in Buddhism that um, when you go fully into breathing deeply and go into a state of meditation, 
um, that your heartbeat slows down, slower than even when you're asleep. And in that place of meditation, openness is found because your thoughts stop racing about all the things you need to do. And you start focusing. And when you can focus on truly what inside is your embryonic truth, you can embrace it fully and take it in. And when you exhale the apprehension, all that's left is the joy. So what are you passionate about today? What are you embracing in your life? Have you been embracing some things that maybe aren't good for you? Is it a relationship? Someone that you're dating that's treating you less than and makes you feel less than? Is it a job that maybe, you know, when you go there you just feel less alive when you leave at the end of the day? Or is it not embracing anything? Some people literally walk through life and they latch on or hold on to a side of something, but they never truly embrace it. And that's not a life worth living. So what I would encourage you to do today, if, you, if you're on the East Coast, you're probably in a cold, crisp morning like I am. I actually have an errand to go out today, uh, this morning in fact, and it is brr, cold here. It's uh, about 40 degrees. It's crisp. Um, I like crisp mornings because they do two things to me. Number one, when I take in that first breath of crisp air, it wakens you up. I mean, it literally shakes and wakes you up. When you exhale, you feel, oh, and you actually see that puff of wonderful, you know, smoke that comes out, not from a cigarette, but from truly just exhaling. And it truly shows you that when you take something in and you let it out and you feel alive, it's good. So what are you taking in and letting out today to feel alive? Don't go through the motions. Don't take one single day more without truly seeking inside yourself and listening to what you can be. Maybe you're a mother with kids and the, the only thing you've been doing is taking care of your kids every day. Great. You have one of the roles that's truly admirable in this world because you're shaping lives by what you say, what you do, what you teach them. Why don't you embrace them and hold them dear to you? Tell them the, of their potential. Share with them how you have a passion for things and how you, they should always seek it in themselves. You know, you often hear about people that are geniuses or experts in their fields knowing things from when they were little. Well, I believe that your embryonic truth slowly starts to seep out of you at all kinds of ages. I've always been a person that makes people laugh or gives an encouraging word, or makes people smile. It's just something I've always done since I was young. But I've never really formulated it until 2005, when I really just embraced who I was as a person. I embraced what the universe was trying to do through me, or God. Um, and I saw that what I wanted to do was to share with others and write and that slowly evolved. I, I have over 300 writings now, close to it. Different sayings, short stories, and all that. But I never channeled it fully the way the universe wanted me to until this year. And so I'm putting my life on the track, on the highway. You know, those slot car racers when they were a little kid, if you didn't get it in the groove, it wasn't going to stay on the track. And if you hit the button too hard, it went flying off into the side. That slot car racer embraces the track. So I encourage you, embrace, embrace, embrace the light, admire it, love it, but above all, no light.